the YouTubers. Let's see, we'll do it like this. Hola, YouTubers. Uh, this is a repair for the Digital Designs uh, 99, was it 9912? Something like that. Uh, that one. 9912D1. So we got some of the old parts. Now, this is, to me, this is a really expensive woofer, but you know, I'm poor. So uh, this is the cap they included. It's not reinforced with anything. So, but it worked, you know, and you got to remember too that their warranty is only a year. And uh, um, so they only got to last a year. So, but you know, if you're going to pay whatever this thing costs, like a thousand dollars or whatever it is, um, I would hope you'd get a little more quality for your money, but apparently not. So uh, most of the money in this thing, of course, is the motor, the magnet, which ends up costing about $110 uh, from China. But you know, you got to order at least 100 of them or something like that. So it's kind of expensive. But uh, the cone, I think these are the American cones, which are kind of brittle. Uh, they're only about one millimeter thick. Uh, if you get the cone that I'm using, which is the, we call it the five series. Uh, we just get it from Lord of Base. Um, this one is actually two millimeter thick. It's the same, uh, looks like a single press. There's a non-pressed, which I think is theirs, which looks more a little more Freddy Krueger on the back. So that's non-pressed. And then this is single press. And then they have one that's double pressed, which is like, uh, like if I don't know if you ever seen the Rockford T1, that one's pretty uh, smooth on the back. And uh, but it, you know, there's different properties for for the the cones. The double press ones that tend to be more brittle, so that's why I think Rockford moved to a metal cone on the T2 back in the day. This is pre 2016. But anyways, uh, spiders. This is the tinsel. That's it. That's all they gave for the tinsel. Um, now they did put tabs on the. Um, voice quill, which was nice because then I got to solder to those. So you can see that was their little copper lead. And then it just goes to a tab, which is a, uh, it's a nickel plated copper, which is great, but it is aluminum voice coil. Uh, and so they had that done probably from, you know, precision Econo wind, which is, uh, the, basically the last American, uh, coil maker. But, uh, this is the, the spider that we're using. This I think is a, a it's either two or three layer. It's got the quad leads on it, so those those will never burn unless you're totally a super dick. Uh, and I've had to reharvest the coils or, or harvest the coils, I should say, um, where we just ground off the old. Uh, they used CA uh, mostly because it's cheaper and it's faster than uh, epoxy. So, but uh, this was their top spider, and then this was their bottom spider, and then the top spider was a two layer type. Uh, which was two just laminated together. And then, uh, not, not that having a bunch of spiders is, <sighs> how do I explain this? So, okay. So there's a huge, um, perception problem. Uh, I should say, uh, some reconers, uh, rate the coil in power, which is dumb because it's not really power. Uh, all coils are rated thermally. So this one's rated to probably right around 500 F uh, and will actually do like a thousand F before it actually melts. So aluminum melts at 1200, which we've gotten subs back that have actually melted the aluminum. And then the guy was like, you know, you set the gains and I'm like, shut the fuck up. So, but um, all coils are rated by heat, not power because the power is determined by the motor, uh, the stroke, lots of other features, how much surface area is on the coil, and also what's the load, the, the what's called moving mass, uh, what kind of load, you see, because a, a woofer will handle more power as an 18 versus a 12 on the same motor, okay? And so some companies have switched, like I noticed Sundown switched to a uh, standard power rating, which of course is a conservative power rating on top of that. You know, like they say the SA series, um, the, the V2, V3, whatever it is, uh, handles, I think, 650 or 750. And, you know, of course, people real power do, you know, 1150 with it. So it's just a conservative rating. That's all. So I don't even want to get into power ratings with this. Remember, just because it has a high power rating doesn't mean 
uh, it depends on the box. It depends on the program. It depends on all kinds of things. There's lots of standards that you can go by. Either way, I did a whole blog uh, article on it that there, no matter what it is, it's a lie in one way or another. It's also the truth in one way or another. So it, it's all about perception. But uh, anyway, back to the build. So I got these soldered up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, what I did had to do was trim just a little bit. And so that's uh, what happens is um, it's not everything is always centered perfectly. And so that just gives me a little wiggle room. And then what I'm going to do is use our, um, this is our ABS clamp ring. And what I did was I just cut out a section. And then what you want to do is make sure that this butt is um, somewhere where you can put a clamp on both halves. So you can, you know, whatever, however it does, but you can arrange the clamp so that it's like there. So you put the clamp in the window or, you know, if you think this is ugly, you know, don't clamp there, whatever. So however you want to do it. And then uh, we're going to terminate to four gauge spring terminals. Um, but let me do a little bit and then get this done.